Hey there, folks, and welcome to another Champion Spotlight. Today's star carries the legacy of the great dragons in his veins, and he's one heck of a beast. Introducing Romantu Drake's Blood. You might already know who this guy is, but he's one of the major rewards for completing progress missions, just like the Arbiter. Unlike her, though, Romantu can only be obtained by completing all missions. No lucky summons for this guy, sadly. It's a long road, but the end is so worth it. His skills and mechanics are truly unique and absolutely devastating. We already had many iconic knights, dwarven warriors, and cruel undead champions, but in the dragon department, we thought we could do better than just Dracomorph. Enter Romantu, the scion of the Drake-blooded monarchs who ruled the Lizardmen in the ancient times. We were really excited to showcase some of Teleria's ancient history with this champion. Needless to say, he also tears it up in battle. Not only is Romantu a powerful attacker, he also has a unique combination of skills that make him a counter to some of the most powerful champions in Ray. Let's take a look. Psychic Overload is his default skill. Its primary value lies not only in the damage, though yes, it does deliver quite a sting, but in the utility it offers. It also adds a turn to the cooldown of one of the target's skills, and with his void affinity and a bit of accuracy, it's almost guaranteed. As a small bonus, if that cooldown hits the max possible cooldown for the given skill, the attack also has a chance of stunning his target for a turn. More importantly though, when he increases a cooldown on an enemy by one, he also decreases the cooldown on an ally by one, favoring the ally with the highest turn meter. The Eternal Dragon is gonna cry her little undead eyes out. If you want to be real mean, pair Romantu up with someone who can put a counterattack buff on him and watch the carnage unfold. Next up, Drake's Fury. And Fury is the right word for this absolute monster of an attack. Romantu hits one target four times, and each hit places a different powerful debuff. Decreased defense, weaken, decreased speed, then block buffs to round out the finale. It's a nasty package overall, but then it gets worse. If the target has four or more debuffs once the damage is done, he also places a true fear debuff on every single enemy for good measure. Terrifying. Literally. And yet, somehow, neither of those killer skills are what make Romantu so special. His third skill, Blood Wings, has that honor. First of all, it attacks all enemies and removes all their buffs. That in itself is really neat. But once you ascend Romantu, he'll add the finishing blow, a block active skills, and block passive skills to buffs. You heard that right, Romantu can counter passive skills. Right now, this is an exclusive debuff that only Romantu has access to, and I'm sure you can imagine just how useful it'll be. In case your imagination fails you, though, how about this? Lydia can't stop your revives, Torment can't freeze your friends, and Siffy will stop her incessant healing. Romantu lets you live the arena dream and will be a worthy answer to many high-power PvP teams. Romantu also brings his own passive. Arrogance boosts Romantu's turn meter and buffs him with speed and a shield whenever he gets hit with a crowd control to buff. Thanks to the turn meter boost and increased speed, Romantu will get back on track with his rotation faster, and that shield will help him survive whatever pain the enemy intends to dish out. Lastly, Romantu's aura skill increases ally accuracy by 80 in all battles. That's a solid cherry on top of his skill cake. So, there you have it. Romantu Drake's Blood will take a lot of effort to obtain, but he is a great champion to have in your collection. Not only does he give you some unique effects to use against your opponents, he also has loads of general utility. He'll be awesome in arena battles, where he can disrupt enemy rotations and cancel out powerful passives. He's great in the Doom Tower, where he can take apart bosses. He's a king of the Lizardman Faction Wars crypt. And, really? just a beast. Anywhere and everywhere. And though most bosses will be immune to Romantu's block passive trick, he'll be a great addition to any team fighting the Eternal Dragon, and his second skill applies a bunch of high-end debuffs that you rarely find in a single champion's kit. When it comes to builds, you'll absolutely want Romantu to have high speed and accuracy to get the most out of his skills. Being able to land debuffs and increase enemy cooldowns is essential. But otherwise, Romantu doesn't need any particular sets to thrive. Just remember that he is an attacker, so he can really put out serious pain if you can also fit in some boosts to his attack. In fact, you could equip him with crit damage or attack boosting sets, or the Relentless set to make use of his default skills and mess with your opponent's plans even further. Or go with Lifesteal or Bloodthirst for some extra staying power. Romantu deals enough damage to make these viable. All that said, there's nothing stopping you from experimenting and choosing the build that suits your playstyle best. All right, that just about wraps up our spotlight. Good luck in completing the progress missions and getting this terrifying champion as soon as you can. 
We look forward to seeing what strategies you guys come up with for them. If you like the video, hit like and subscribe. We've always got something interesting in the works. Happy rating.